What would happen if you tried to capture something translucent, uh, like a glass figure? Well, these dice are translucent, uh, and you can kind of see how the light passes through them and emits, and you know, you can see underneath that one in the middle. Uh, anyway, you might be able to see it better in this shot, uh, or maybe you can't, I don't know. Anyway, I decided to glue all these little transparent zombie figures to a piece of glass and uh, capture that into a hologram because I thought it'd be a fun thing to do. I thought it looked sick, like a party. Um, and then, uh, and then I, I did that. We have got the zombie hologram, which I can make all of them do the shimmy at the same time, which I, made me smile. Uh, but ultimately, uh, I thought it was just a really cool backdrop to make something uh, as a complete kind of piece. Man, that's crazy looking. Okay, uh, and uh, so I had this biohazard logo, and I decided to make a hologram to add to the piece. <clears throat> so specifically made this. And uh, sandwiched it all together with uh, some glass lamination. Um, it's part of the process. Keep it all nice and uh, protected. Cut it into this cool trapezoid, and uh, and it had this cool double layer effect. It had the dancing zombies in the background, the biohazard in the front. It, it was incredible, I'm telling you. It's one of my favorite pieces I've ever made. Uh, and that's why I'm showing you uh, the process, because I'm proud of it. Anyway, it looked really sick. Uh, thanks for coming to my TED Talk.